Good morning, ladies, and happy Friday. Happy birthday to my dad. I really need to think about how old he is. Um, I don't know. That's horrible, right? <laughs> like, I'm really trying to think off the top of my head, and I know that he is not 45. I gotta think about that. He's somewhere in the 40s. He didn't make it to 50 yet. I do know that. Uh, but today I am cycle day 14. And as I predicted yesterday, I did my OPK and it just said hi. It did not say peak, which would be abnormal because <laughs> every, ever since the very first um, cycle that I've been trying, and this would make cycle... This is either cycle 18 or cycle 19 of trying. And I know that's a lot. So it's either it's like it's either cycle 18 or cycle 19, but it's always been positive on cycle day 14. But I told you yesterday, I was like, this doesn't look like it's going to be positive, and it's not. Uh, so I wasn't set to really be ovulating until cycle day 16, as I thought, but this is probably going to push it a little bit. So that has been the interesting part. I am adding cards to videos because I oftentimes forget because of the, because when I edit the videos. It's usually a few days later. I do not remember to put the cards in to link other videos to the video if I say something about something previously. Um, but other than that, everything is good. I'm going to be home in my house for almost all day. And this, I know, can you see my pajama? Because oftentimes it's like I don't have anything up here. And that's because for pajamas, I usually wear like these summer maxi halter toppy dresses. <laughs> But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I am waiting for Fresh Direct to come because tomorrow is my family reunion picnic. We always do one big picnic in the summer, usually the first Saturday of August. And so that's tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm waiting for Fresh Direct to come because I am in charge of all of the corn. Crap. I just realized I don't have enough aluminum foil, so I'm going to have to go outside. But... I'm in charge of all of the corn that goes on the grill, so I need to butter all of them up. I need to add a little seasoning to them, put the aluminum foil on them so that they're ready to go on the grill when I get there. And there's a lot of people, so I'm thinking about doing like 80 um, half ears of corn. And I think that that should be pretty good. And, uh, and then I'm also waiting for my family reunion shirts. This has been a total debacle. They just decided this was going to be the first year that my family did family reunion shirts. And everybody had to order by this certain date in between. It was like a week. And this week you had to order for your shirts to be able to come. And no matter which day you ordered in the week, everybody's shirt was going to be sent out on the same day. So the family picnic is tomorrow. The shirts have not arrived yet. According to the um, post office tracking thing, it is supposed to come today. So I'm literally staying in my house until that arrives. And that's pretty much the thing of the day. I need to do some editing i did write a blog post i need to do that i need to get cracking with all this corn and then obviously i need to go get some aluminum foil and some other things i have to see what my clear blue monitor is going to tell me um tomorrow after well if it's not peak because tomorrow would be the final day of testing on my clear blue monitor because it usually goes from cycle day six to cycle day 15 of testing all of those days so I don't know if it's going to ask me to test again or not, but to have a backup, I may just go get some ovulation strips or um, the smiley face one or I don't, I don't know. I have to figure it out. Lots of stuff to do today, but I hope you're having a fab one. The other thing is that we've been having a heat wave. So my poor tomato plant looks like who done did it and ran because it's just it's little leaves are just it's going through some stuff we've had like over 90s for the last I think four days so today's gonna be the fifth day and it has been hot 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 and so I'm standing in the kitchen and I figure I'd stand back here by the window so you can actually see how big the tomato plant is because you usually don't get a chance to see the whole thing because of the way the camera is and all sorts of stuff but as you can see it's it's up there it's the tracking on my shirts and it's supposed to be delivered today. It didn't say it went out for delivery today because it arrived at the post office yesterday. But I'm hoping it went out for delivery today. I'm going to get it this morning or it's going to pop up in my mailbox because my mailbox will be big enough to hold it. 
Um, but I'm gonna keep my fingers and my toes I'm saying I have on cloud 10 today due to a BFP and also someone having their baby. So one, I was totally surprised that Trinity434 had came back with a video. It's been about a year since her last video and the video showed that she is pregnant. I used to watch her all the time when she was posting and then she stopped posting and she moved and she did some couple things and uh so she is pregnant so that made me super excited because i know that she's been trying for a long time and then two mona my fave my fave mona i don't know if you find follow her but mona hines she had a tap procedure done um because she had multiple miscarriages but further or further along with her pregnancy where she had to deliver the babies because she had an incompetent cervix so she ended up getting the tack and she finally brought her baby symphony home and that was just absolutely wonderful and marvelous i love the video i cried because i'm such an emotional person um but yeah because i've been watching her journey from the beginning and I remember the times of her being in the hospital and having to deliver her children and them dying like an hour later. And so it was wonderful to see her. See, it makes me emotional now. It was wonderful just to see her sitting there with the little baby. And she was so happy and I was just so happy for her. So those two things make me on cloud 10 today. I love, I love the positivity in the PDC community. I love when I watch people get their BFPs. And I love to see you know, people bring home their babies because it's wonderful. And especially when you watch somebody and you know they're struggling, you know everything that they've been through. When you see that miracle happen, it is amazing. I'm going to make salad again for breakfast. I absolutely love baby arugula. I think I've said this a million times, but I love arugula. Um, so then I'm going to have the tomatoes with it. And I found an onion. Yesterday I was talking about, oh, I need an onion. I didn't even look. There's an onion. And then I'm going to have a pluot. So me and my husband have been trying different pluots and yesterday I tried one that was absolutely wonderful. I don't know the name of it. I'm going to have to look it up uh, because they were having a sale. They had like maybe 10 different varieties of pluots and so I picked up three of them for us to try. Three new versions since we know which one we like. And I took a picture of the little pluot description thing that they had so you could tell which pluot was which, but I couldn't tell. So I'm just going to have uh, this and that for breakfast. Look at that color and that juiciness. This is awesome. <laughs> and there it is. My salad and I ended up getting some onions there. I'm getting ready to eat a piece of bread because the last two days I have taken my prenatal with the salad that I was eating in the morning. And for some reason, after I'm done, I start to feel sick. And I'm guessing that's because it's just not enough food to fill my stomach. I don't, I don't know. I usually feel full after this the salad, but maybe it's not enough for the prenatal. So I'm going to eat this hamburger roll. And I think that this should be dense enough. Because I was talking to my husband about it on the phone since he's at work. And he was saying maybe I need to eat something that's more dense. So... I'm gonna try this bread. All right, so the shirts came, thank the Lord. So I'm out at Rite Aid because I'm gonna check on their OPK stuff here to see if I can get some of the dipstick ones. I don't know if they actually have it because I usually get them at, um, not CVS, Walgreens. I think it's Walgreens or Dwayne Reed. I can't really remember. So I'm gonna check and see if they have it or not. And then I'm looking for like a head tie or wrap for the picnic tomorrow that's the same color as the shirt says. all right so i found some that are just the strips and i'm supposed to have 20 in here right eight brands i'm kind of surprised but I'm, I'm gonna work on that and then my favorite dish soap is on sale it is I'm my gonna... favorite dish soap this dawn with the um oil of olay in it i love um, but apparently they're all 99 cent this week and they're usually 219 that's what i normally pay so I was happy to see that. I should pick up more than one. That's what happens in there. So we're just going to pick up two instead. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how the Rite Aid dupes are so close to everything else? Because look at this. This is the one that I just picked up. And it's pomegranate. And that's the one with the oil of Olay. And they have theirs that look similar. That's pomegranate too. So I'm looking for some sunglasses because my sunglasses broke and um $3.99 is right up my alley <laughs> all right and so i am back i got everything that i wanted to get so i'll show you that in a second the last stop i made was to the fabric store because i do plan to wrap my hair tomorrow i'm gonna say plan because i may not actually <laughs> wrap it up but the thing is that my hair is long and it's thick so it's very hot 
when I wear it out like how I wore it out just now like I'm like okay <laughs> so I plan to put it up so I was looking I went to the fabric store because I need a lot of fabric in order to wrap my hair and then on top of that I wanted to find the perfect color blue to go with the shirts now for my family we end up switching the color every year of the event this is the first year that they actually were having shirts because last year they just released a crest for the family which is kind of like an emblem and the different things on it means different stuff for everyone so all right so this is the shirt here it's blue it's actually a darker blue than what you see and that's like a family picnic basket and then those are the founding family names at the top and then on the back of all of them they have this design and this design is actually the family crest and so everything has meaning this rope has meaning the sword through has meaning why it's particularly a lion has meaning everything but i just don't have time to go through I'll go over well, all of it post a link to last year's video so last year i was vlogging on my other channel so i'm gonna try to pull from there and then post it as a card so you can check it out because i think there's a little bit of them talking about the actual family crest on there uh so now i'm gonna look at the opks that i got because i've never gotten them from rite aid so we're gonna check them out it's so funny this is exactly like exactly the same one that i get from um walgreens but this one was only 18 dollars, and then i get a discount at the store because i'm there often so i think i paid either 16 or 17 dollars for this but when i go to walgreens this thing is like 27 dollars so it's interesting it's the same exact one i'm gonna go in my bathroom and get the container see if i still have yep, it i still have it this is the one that was in the bathroom and then this is the new one but what happens is they just have 20 in here 20 of the dipstick ones which is good so what I'm going to end up doing is testing uh, my ovulation twice a day, starting from today, because I don't know what the clear blue monitor is going to tell me, since I'm technically getting going to get a peak later on in the cycle. So this is what it looks like on the inside, just 20 sticks. And so this is the fabric that I got to do the head wrap in, and so it looks very close, almost exactly alike to the same color as the oh, shirt pick up sunglasses they actually ended up being six dollars because i was not reading the sign right and it said buy one get the second one 3.99 so the ones i got were six dollars they look like they're really cute then it has like this little design there and they were five ninety nine. next time that i have to use the bathroom i'm going to take the opk and we're going to see what it looks like because it'll be a little bit better to read than the ones that i do on the digital because there was what the opk looks like so i'm guessing it'll probably be positive by tomorrow um but yeah so so far so good